Okay, now getting the top of the flagpole. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so Luigi goes far above the graphics area, so that's probably why the background is changing like that. Wow, that's really interesting that that's where the light from the spotlight comes from. Keep in mind that Luigi is falling this entire time. Yeah, so that's why you can see that the castle walls, they don't extend along here, because normally you can't make the camera face this way, since the camera's normally only facing this way. Usually, only the parts of the level that you could see are going to be decorated. Today, we'll play through World 5 of Super Mario 3D World, but every time Luigi completes a level, he will have double jump height. We'll start at World 5-1, Sunshine Seaside, where Luigi will start with double jump height. Oh my goodness. Let's see, do we even have to use this pipe? I don't think we even have to use the pipe to get up there. We can just jump straight out to this platform. I don't think our jump height is high enough yet to make it to that island in the background. I don't think we'll be able to do it. Maybe later on. If we come back to this level later with higher jump height, we might be able to jump that far. Okay, you can just jump up the tree. Do they have the final one? Oh, they have the final one here. There we go. I think I might get hit. Ah. All right, and it should be very easy to get the top of the flagpole. Oh, man, I almost missed it. Okay, let's try this again. Just run and jump high and... Oh, my goodness. Depth perception is so hard. There we go. We got it. There we go. There we go. I should be able to get the top of the flag with any of these high jump heights, I hope. Here is the next world. World 5-2 Tricky Trapeze Theater. Alright, let's see. Do I even need to take this? What if I just... Ah, oh, there's an invisible ceiling so you can't go that high! Aw, oh, man. If we were able to jump higher, like there's an invisible ceiling here that push... I'm pretty sure there's an invisible ceiling here that pushes you down. Ah, you can go pretty high. Maybe it is possible. I don't know if I could jump all the way there to the right or if I should try for one of those. Let's see. Let's try this. Oh! There's a death barrier there. Maybe that's there on purpose so that you can't go by? So let's take a look at this in Spotlight. I wanted to open this up in the level editor for this game so that we could see what's going on. What are What's up with these death barriers? And you start off on this cloud over here, and all of these dark red ones over here, these are all death areas here. So you can see that there's a death area right here, the one that's selected, the one that's turning from dark red to white when I hover over it. All of this here is a death area, so it's like, as we jump across towards there, we fall onto this area. But it's like, maybe we'd be able to get past it. You could almost get past it. Maybe with the cat suit power up, I could get past it. That was my best attempt yet. It's like, if you try to go around the death barrier like that, then you could get pretty close, but... Yeah, if you try to go straight to the platform that's right over there to the closest part, then you end up dying from this death barrier here. But if you try going around it, then you can't get close enough to the island itself. What if we jump to one of those? Can we jump over there? It's so close! Oh, that is so much better! Oh, you- Oh, okay, I was hoping to get up there. <gasps> Whoops! Okay, oh. Yeah, I kind of forgot that my jump height was so high. Let's head on up here. Let's see anything interesting up here. Wow, there is nothing at all here. Amazing. Anything up here also? Nope, looks like there's nothing up here. <gasps> oh yeah, I kind of don't have to wor worry about dying too much because I have such a high jump height. Let's see. Oh, I wonder if you could go back there or if that is just cosmetic. Probably too far to reach. All right, let's see. Can I make this jump from here to there? No, 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 no. There's no way we could make that. There's no way we could make that jump. Oh! I'm surprised at how close that got. Nice. Oh, that's so cool to make it onto here. Uh, maybe I should... Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. 
Yeah, I could definitely make it to there from here. There we go, pretty good. Don't want to use the trampoline, because it's like, why would you use a trampoline when you could just jump up? Oh! There's a Captain Toad up there. Ah, oh, I don't know if I can jump that high. Oh! Yeah, we can make it to Captain Toad. Pretty cool. Don't have to use the pipe or the trampoline. Whoops. Alright, let's just continue on the level. This isn't the way that you normally do the level. You don't normally <laughs> go on this top part up here. Anything up here? Oh, that's the that's the end of the level over there. Alright, let's see if we can head on over. I don't know if I should jump from this platform or the lower platform. Okay, this is going pretty well. Ah. Hoping I'd be able to dive into that. But yeah, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, let's just drop down onto the flag. There we go. All right, another level done. All right. World 5-3 is next. Backstreet Bustle. Oh, and I only have 100 seconds. Maybe our jump height will help us. Oh, but there's an invisible ceiling here that pushes us down pretty quickly. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's an invisible ceiling there that pushes you down, so the high jump height wasn't a much help, but we're still able to finish the level okay. Very quick level. Okay, we now have 16 times regular jump height, and we are going to take on the charge and chuck blockade. There's probably... Okay, I'm expecting there to be a ceiling here. Oh no! It's actually harder than I thought it would be. Can we jump out of the level? I was wondering if we could go so high that we make it past this wall, but I don't think so. Whoa! That is a fast jump! <laughs> Zoom! Luigi just flies up. How am I even going to get this last one? Oh boy, this is proving to be a bit difficult. But there we go, we got it. Okay, Luigi was able to take out the charging trucks with no problem. Clear time 68. Almost nice. Alright, world 5-4. Sprawling Savannah. Is it Savannah or Savannah? I think it's actually Savannah. Sprawling Savannah. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Okay. Got a pretty high jump height, so maybe we'll be able to... You know what? Should I take the mushroom? Nah. Maybe we'll be able to... Whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't expect to jump that high. I was gonna say maybe we'll be able to avoid these pipes. What if I jump all the way to that island? What if I just skip the middle island? Let's see if I can. Hope I come down soon. Yeah, we are pretty high. <laughs> hey, where's the level? Where's the level? We've been going for a while. We're up higher than I thought. Let's see. Can't even see the level down there anywhere. Well, we should hopefully start coming down soon. Oh, there we go! There's the level! I can see the level in the background there. You know what? Maybe we'll just jump straight to the end of the level. Let's start going towards there. Let's just head on over this way. Hopefully I land on some floor. Not sure if I will. Yeah, it looks like we'll land on some floor. Hooray! We made it! Okay, so we skipped the middle island. Now let's just head on over to the end of the level. Let's see, where is the end of the level? Oh, the end of the level's right there! Okay. Oh, nope, don't want to go too high. Okay, so I ground pound it, so we're not going too high. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of scenes like this, where all you can see is the sky like this. And Luigi falling. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There's the flag. Can I get it? No! I had a jump height of that high and I couldn't even grab the top of the flag. Oh, man. Well, I guess jump height isn't everything. One thing that I really liked about Sprawling Savannah was that there wasn't an invisible ceiling that pushed us down. Like, in this level here, there's an invisible ceiling that pushes you down. In that other one, there's an invisible ceiling that pushes you down. But I like this one, you can just fly up. So let's go to World 5-5. Five -five. 
bob alms below. Let's see what this one's going to be like with our jump height doubled again. Okay, this is another level with ceiling. Yeah, it looks like super high jump height doesn't really make too much of a difference here because you just get pushed down quickly. I wonder if I could go past that cloud. Like, is there still ceiling here? Yeah, it looks like there's still ceiling here. That's kind of surprising. Kind of. Whoa! Hitting that thing makes it move around. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. Cool! Okay, now getting the top of the flagpole. Sh oh my goodness! No, I just did a little jump like that and look at how the color- Okay, good. The colors came back. Oh, man! Okay. Yeah, so Luigi goes far above the graphics area, so that's probably why the background is changing like that. And that was a very quick tap, like... That right there is just tapping the button. Oh! Okay, and it pulled me into the flag. I didn't even touch the joystick. That was pretty cool. Alright, got another 10,000 point pull. Grab doing pretty well with this high jump height. The end of that level was especially cool. So let's take a look at world 5-6. How many worlds do we have left? Not very many. Not very many worlds are left, so let's take a look at 5-6 next. And Luigi's jump height is doubled again, so here is Cakewalk Flake. Yeah, okay, that's what- Oh! It looks like there actually- I'm guessing there is actually a ceiling here. Because it looked like Luigi got pushed down after a moment. It's taking Luigi quite a while to fall down. Oh, there we go, that isn't even too far. That only took, what, 40 seconds almost to fall down? Oh, but if you hold the jump button, you keep going higher and higher. So that was just a little tap that I did before. Okay, come on, Luigi. Just come on down. Take your time. No rush. No rush. Plenty of time. We've got more than 300 seconds to complete the level. Okay, Luigi's actually falling for so long, I can't even see the stuff that's normally in the background, and he's been falling for a while already. You're far above the clouds. You're in an airplane. Imagine if Luigi dropped onto a Goomba from this huge drop here. Luigi would obliterate that Goomba. Let's check in on Luigi, see how he's doing. Just, just ground pounding here. Continuing to ground pound. Still no towers in sight. The towers that are normally in the background are still not visible. Luigi's still too high. So Luigi has a pretty high jump height. We are ground pounding down to come down quickly. And I wonder if I'm going to reach the ground before the time limit runs out. What if I use my power up? <laughs> the mushroom just flies away. <laughs> I wonder if we'll ever see that mushroom again. What do you guys think of these colors in the background here? This is a pretty calm yellow. Sometimes you have a very bright and vibrant and aggressive yellow, but this is a pretty calm yellow. The yellow and the pink and the white, they're, they're, oh, the mushroom's coming back down. Oh my goodness. I never thought we'd see it again. How is it catching up to us? Will we collect it? Will we get to collect the mushroom, or will it fall past us? <gasps> and I think that's the level down there! Oh my goodness, parts of the tower starting to become visible. No, mushroom, come here! No! We might not get our mushroom. What's that square there off to the side? Ah, oh, we didn't get our mushroom. Wow, but it looks like we're making it back to the level after all. Uh-oh, time is running out. You better hurry with that ground pound, Luigi. Oh, and where are we even going to land? We got our mushroom back, that's what matters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see if we can complete the level still. I don't know if we'll be able to. Oh man. Oh, but the flag is just right there. This is going to be... Oh, uh, I was about to say this is... Uh-oh. I was about to say this is going to be no problem, but I don't know anymore. I don't know where the level is. Wait, what was that that just flew by? Something just flew by. Okay, where's the level? Where's the level? Whoa, 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 I don't want to be all the way over there. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I jumped and ground pounded right away. Oh, there's a retro Luigi in the background. Okay, there we go. All right, we were able to finish the level. No problem. That was a pretty close one. We really had to use a lot of our time to finish that level, but... We were able to get it, and we were able to get another 10,000 point pole grab. Alright, that was a pretty good one. That one was a little close. That one was a little close. Let's take a look at what we've got next. Searchlight Sneak. 
Rolled five dash seven, and our jump height is doubled again. Wonder if there are going to be ceilings in this level. Let's see. Oh, and that was just a quick tap. That wasn't a full jump. Let me try doing a full jump. All right, let's try this. Let's see how high we can go. Oh, and we can also move around. All right, let's move around. Let's go look for where the end of the level is while we are floating around like this. It's like we're seeing a cinematic camera view that is taking us through the level. We just have a free cam active right now. Just exploring through the level. No characters here. Don't mind the HUD that you see in the top left. Don't mind the timer, the point score. Interesting Goomba face right there. Just head on up here. Oh, nope, we are past the level, huh. Wait, isn't the end of the level just normally right up here? I think the end of the level is normally somewhere up here. Let's see. Ah, the camera won't let me go up there. Wait a minute. What's that castle thing in the background? That's interesting. Maybe the end of the level is actually over here? Whoa. Uh, I thought the end of the level was just up here, but camera doesn't want to follow us up there. Oh, that's really cool to see how these lights work. Look at this. What are these? Wait, why are there just bullet bills floating here? Oh, that's so cool. You can't normally see these bullet bills. That's actually so cool. They stand here, and if you get into the light, then these bullet bills are launched. So the bullet bills actually just stand here, floating in the air. And if the searchlight sees you, then they get launched from these spots. That's really cool. It's the same for these. Interesting that some of them are organized in different ways. Those three there are vertical, but all these here appear to be horizontal. That's really interesting. It's weird seeing this light go back and forth. This light isn't connected to anything. It's just a ball of light that is going from side to side. And keep in mind that there's, oh, and here the, over here, you can slightly see that there are also balls of lights up high like that. Wow, that's really interesting that that's where the light from the spotlight comes from. How about we go back here and see if there's anything interesting back here. Keep in mind that Luigi is falling this entire time. Okay, here's the edge of the level. Yeah, a lot of stuff in Super Mario 3D World, since normally you can't see camera angles like this, they're not going to decorate part of the world that you can't see. Oh, and the lava all just disappeared. Let's head back. There we go. Yeah, so that's why you can see that the castle walls, they don't extend along here, because normally you can't make the camera face this way. Since the camera's normally only facing this way, usually only the parts of the level that you could see are going to be decorated. Okay, and I think now we are at the point that if Luigi does a full jump, that he's actually not going to reach the ground in time. Because time is going to start to run low in a moment, and there's still no sign of Luigi. Hopefully Luigi comes down soon. For now, we'll take a look at this Goomba while this dramatic music plays. This Goomba is just staring into my soul. This Goomba is working very hard. This Goomba is doing a great job. This Goomba is on the lookout for if Luigi is going to come. This Goomba is a loyal follower of Bowser, just ready to try to stop anyone who wants to get the gold flag. This Goomba has an unwavering dedication. This Goomba is here literally 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. And it looks like Luigi isn't going to be able to make it down in time. And there we go, time is up! And we have no sign of Luigi coming down, so it looks like we're not going to do full jumps. Looks like we're gonna have to do like little tap jumps or jump dives. That was a jump and a dive immediately, and Luigi's still coming down. I still don't know where Luigi is. Hopefully Luigi comes down soon. Oh, there we go! Wow! Okay, so I really don't want to... <laughs> really don't want to jump a lot. Try to jump as... Tried to jump as rarely as possible. I'm gonna have to jump here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so that's where we have to go.
Nope. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I did a jump and a dive immediately. Please come down, Luigi. Oh, there he is! There he is! Okay, nice! Nice, 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 nice. I think that means that we'll now get the flag. I jumped and I did a ground pound immediately. And all of a sudden the camera comes down here, but... There we go! We got the flag! There we go! So for some reason the camera is a bit weird around this area. But hey, we've got it. We have got it. Another 10,000 point pull grab, and we're gonna double Luigi's jump height again. Alright, the World 5 castle, King Thunk's castle. I just realized <laughs> to beat King Thunk, you have to jump on him! I don't think this is going to be possible! <laughs> this boss isn't going to be possible with this super high jump height. Oh, but there's an invisible wall here! Maybe there's going to be an invisible wall! Near King Kathunk, that'd be amazing! Can we head on over there? Whoa! That's really cool looking over there. I'm guessing that's just empty though. You can't slide on it, so it does have some collision. I wonder if the top of it is collidable. Let's see, maybe I could get up there from somewhere else. No, but that's the closest spot and there are probably invisible walls all around. Ah, oh, the Katsu power-up! Yes, this is amazing! This is exactly what I needed. Yeah, so you can see that this is as high as you're able to climb with Luigi. Pretty high! They put up that invisible ceiling pretty high. <laughs> okay, maybe if I take the Katsu back to the beginning of the level, then I'll be able to make it on top of that thing. This level reminds me so much of Spyro. Have you guys ever played Spyro before? Spyro the Dragon? Oh my goodness, for some reason this reminds me so much of Spyro. And also Temple Run. I don't know if you guys have ever played Temple Run before, but this reminds me a lot of both Spyro and Temple Run. Oh. I thought you'd be able to go down there. Yeah, kind of funny that stuff that isn't normally reachable like this has simpler collision like this. Like the whole top part here is just all solid instead of you actually being able to go down into that empty place. That's kind of funny. Yeah, you can't go down into that empty space there. That place down there is inaccessible. Oh, and pretty cool how you can see the shadows of the Kathunks that are moving around down here. Interesting. Should you be able to see the shadows like that? Like, they're resting on top of a surface, and you can see their shadow. But you can't see the shadow of the platform that they are on. Okay, I think this cat suit power-up might help us. Bam! I'm gone. Oh, you don't even go that high, because we are getting higher in the level, so we're getting closer and closer to the invisible ceiling. Like, right there, you can see a Luigi's shadow there. And you can see that he can't climb any higher than that. And over here it's very low, the invisible ceiling is right there. He can't go any higher than that. Oh, I think over here- okay, I've got to start coming down already. I think over here there isn't that invisible ceiling that there was because we can see that the sky is a different color. So we have to wait for Luigi to come down. Hopefully I'm not too high to come down. You can see that the sky became weird. Whoa! Interesting to see how that comes out. Where do they keep coming from? Let's head on over here. What could be way out here? Ah, oh, I never noticed there's a little Kathunk symbol down there. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there's also one down there, to the left. Uh oh, and time is running out. Hopefully Luigi's able to come down soon. Kind of interesting, all the detail that went into this. They could have made this just a regular brick wall, but... They made it look like there's some actual architecture and thought put into it. And you can see like the little leaves and stuff. Really cool how they designed that. Okay, I don't think Luigi's going to come down in time. And even if he does, we don't- we have nowhere near enough time to be able to take on the boss. Yep, it looks like Luigi isn't going to be able to make it back in time. I wonder how close he was. 
Okay, so this is the second part of the level. Oh, and I don't have my Katsu power up anymore. Okay, so I've got to jump and dive quickly. That was a jump and a very, very quick dive, and look how weird the sky looks. Look at these colors. We are way too high. Pretty cool looking. Okay. The sky... Oh my goodness! Yes, yes, yes! Ah, oh, I wish I... Wish I got closer. I didn't realize how close I was. Okay. If you jump into a dive immediately, it's like you have a chance. Okay. Oh! Okay. This is fine. There we go. Now let's just get into that box. Sounds easy, right? All you have to do is jump and dive right away. Okay! We're doing it. Should we go for the green star too? Oh no, you just bonk into the wall. <laughs> I'm jumping and diving right away and I can't do it fast enough to get into that hole with the green star. Even if I do it from a distance, let's see. That was so close. That's actually so close. I think I might be able to get the green star. Yeah, we got it. All right, we are gaming. Oh, I don't know if there's an invisible ceiling above us for this boss. So I don't know how we're going to be able to take out this boss. Like, look, if I want to, yeah. <laughs> how am I supposed to jump on top of it? Not only do I have to come down fast enough, but I have to land on the right spot. And when it's flipped over and folded- Oh, it actually stays like that for a moment! Okay, I might, in some weird kind of way, actually have a shot at this. Okay, that was a ground pound. So since we're so high up, I think he's actually going to wait for us to come down. I think that's how it works. That's what it looked like last time, unless it was a coincidence that he was just in the same spot. All right, let's just come on down, Luigi. I don't, I don't think we're going to have enough time to do it for this attempt, but maybe the boss is actually possible, which is kind of weird. Maybe since we're falling from so high, it'll hurt King Kathunk even more. Ah, oh, man, I thought that was actually going to land on him. All right, let's just head on by through the level back to the boss. Luigi, please, we don't have much time. I'm not even gonna go for the green star this time. We, we need to take on the boss. What is happening to these lights? Please, Luigi, just come down. It's like there's a mystical sandstorm happening right now. Okay, lights changed. Yes! Okay, okay, good, good, good. Now we get a shot at the boss again. Mr. King Kathunk, let's go! Okay, I jumped. And hopefully... Hopefully, we're able to come down and land on him. And we have to do this three times! Without the time limit running out. So we're already down to below 200 seconds, and we don't even have one hit on him. Oh, he moved! Okay, I jumped. Did a ground pound. Maybe this time we'll be able to get him. I might even be happy if I could get even one hit on him. I don't know if he's constantly moving and doing his cycles while he's down there, or if he's waiting for us to get close enough before he continues. I think he might just be moving the whole time. Okay, time is running low. Here's our third attempt at dropping down on King Kathunk. We haven't gotten any hits on him yet. But hey, maybe this will be our lucky shot. All right, we're getting close to the level. Let's see, where's King Kathunk down there? See the towers coming into view? He moved! He keeps dodging it! That's not fair! Well, maybe there's a cat suit power up in one of these boxes. That'd actually be amazing. Yes! I don't want this guy to bother me. There we go. I think doing a jump and a cat swipe 
is so much better. This might be our shot. This might be what we need to defeat King Kathunk. Because going from the jump button to the cat swipe button is super, super easy, and you can do it really, really quickly. So this is our best shot. No, I was I was on the fence about if I should go or not. I lost the Gatsu power up. If I do try again, do I go back to the beginning? I think I do. Hold on, so let me just die. And then it'll put me at the checkpoint. Very interesting view of the level like this. Interesting colors you see here. Okay, now I'm going to try to be more careful this time. Okay, this time I'm going, I'm going, I'm going for it. No, my cat swipe took so long. I think you have to get lucky and guess where he's going to land. Okay, wait, let's do this. Let's see, where is he going to land? Maybe here? <gasps> no, that was so close to getting a hit on him. I had a chance. That was the closest we've come to getting a hit on him. I want to get one hit on King Kafunk. There's no way we're going to be able to beat him, especially with the time limit, but I want to get one hit on him. All right, let's see if we can get one hit on Mr. King Kathunk here. Just one. Let's try this. I don't know. I don't know where he's going to be. Let's see. Okay, he's facing that way, so maybe that means he's going to drop down here. So maybe if I keep going straight down... <gasps> yes! We got a hit on him! We got a hit on him! We got one hit on him! Okay, okay, okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's try that again. I think that's a good strategy, using the snapshot feature before you come down. So you can see where he is. I think that's the way to go about this. Okay, let's see. Where is he? What way is he facing? I can't tell what way he's facing. Okay, he's facing this way. I can't see where he's going to drop down, though. Ah! Uh, oh! Two hits? What? What? What in the world? What in the world? But my cat power-up's gone. That's the biggest problem. Okay, let's see. What is he going to do? He can come here. And then maybe here. So let's try this. Jump and ground pound right away. Now let's see, let's see. Do we have a shot? Do we have a shot? Where is he? <gasps> Maybe. I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. No, he's going to land over there. So if I do a dive upwards, maybe I'll get him. Let's see. Ah, I couldn't dive upwards. I had to dive that way. I took way too long to hit the ground pound button that time. Okay, I'll do a roll. So this way now I have some freedom with where I move. Okay, let's see. He's down, he's down! No! Couldn't get to him in time. Okay, let's try again. Let's see, let's see. This should be a good spot. Just jump and ground pound right away. Do a dive, so now you have some freedom to move. Okay. Ah! Oh man, we are too fast. Let's try going here. Okay, jump and ground pound right away. We are coming down to a dive. Now let's see, where's King Kathunk going to be? Okay, still no level visible below us. Almost. Let's see, where's King Kathunk at? Oh, he might be flipped over already on the bottom one. Oh, we have a shot. We have a shot. No! He got up too quickly. I couldn't get him. I don't think I ground pounded very quickly. Oh, man, and time is running low. <gasps> yes! Oh, my goodness! I didn't even... I, I didn't even have to adjust for that. We got super lucky there! Oh my goodness! I can't believe it! 
I don't believe it! Okay, and we get some extra time, so now I'm not super worried about the flag. <laughs> but we still have to get to it, so... Um, what am I falling through? I just ground pounded. Where's the level? Okay, and we got the 10,000 point pull graph. All right, that was perfect. In some ways, this challenge was easier than I thought it'd be, and in other ways, it was a lot more difficult than I thought it'd be. So I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you'd be interested in seeing more challenges like this, or modding in games, or testing what is possible in games, or both regular gameplay and hacking, you might enjoy some of my other videos. Hoping that you all have a fantastic day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.